If you are here to learn about the gradients tool and how this works, I'm gonna teach you right now. My name is Jonathan and I'm here to teach you about Affinity Designer. So let's get started. So my friend, the first step that you need to understand it is that the gradient tool only works with the fill tool. So to enable this option, you need to at least select one kind of object. Which kind of object, Jonathan, you mean? You can create a rectangle, you can create, for example, a paint tool mode like this one, or even a shape with, let's say, text. So we have here these three examples that is. So as you can see here, we have three types of objects that you can apply the gradient to. In the shapes, you just need to select the curve that you want and then you will apply the fill tool. To enable this, just click here and then you need to click and drag. You're gonna have this result that is based in two points. You can see here these two uh, handles, all right? And then you can change the color on top. I will enable here the uh, colors panel right here so you can see that I'm changing. So. I'm changing two points that is gonna make this blending. Can you see that we got this result? And also you can click in the middle of this line in order to create transitions and more colors. So if you click here in this uh, circle, you can enable to other colors just like that. And also if you want to delete, click on the, the circle and then press delete and then you will have this result. Very great, my friend. Now you know how to at least use the gradient tool. Now let's talk about the advanced options. For example, here uh, you can click on top. You have the fill and the stroke. The fill is gonna be about the inside color of the shape. If you enable the stroke, What's gonna happen is that you're gonna apply the color in the corners. How, what this means? To enable this, I'm going to bring here the stroke panel and then I will make this bigger. Right now, I can use the fill, all right, the fill tool, but with the stroke mode turned on. And then I can simply drag and change the color just like that. So don't forget about this. If you apply with the stroke, you're gonna add on the stroke. If you apply on the fill, you will enable the fill mode to turn it on. So now you have the option to use the fill tool with by types. Now let's see about the types of gradients. In that case, I'm gonna select this curve and then I will just use the fill tool and you have this mode. You have the solid that is 100% one color. You have the linear where you can use a standard gradient just like that. You have the elliptical mode, but this one you can uh, distort by pressing. Also you have the radial that is 100% elliptical. Also, we have the conical if you want to use this one, just like that, and create more colors in between. You also have the bitmap. Bitmap, it is images. You can basically use a sort of texture. Can you see? You can use as a pattern, just like that. And also, you can distort the image. Here, you got more options like mirror, you have repeat, you have others options here on top. I'm gonna leave this as standard. And now let's apply the gradient in this text here. I will select and then I will just create here a gradient, just like that. Also, you can apply the gradient not only on here on the screen, you can click in this button here on this icon and then you can create the gradient just like Adobe Illustrator does. Here you can enable the color. If you want to have more control, here is much better than you use uh, by eyes, I'd say. So click here, you have these options. You can uh, simply drag the transition for this color, all right? 
so make sure that you have this control over here you also can change the middle point that is this transition and also if you want you can apply opacity exactly here on affinity you can apply opacity in that case i will uh reverse this if you click in this button reverse you're gonna switch the side also if you don't want to click here on top i usually don't use this option i simply do this by my eyes i'm gonna reset this color let's say that you do this and then i'm gonna duplicate this i'll bring this below uh by dragging here and then i'm gonna make it a bit dark and then here we go i will apply the gradient and then make this side brighter good also you can click here and reverse gradient basically you can reverse the gradient by clicking on here and now i'd like to show you about how you can use the gradients tool in your project let me show you a great example i made a tutorial for my students the vectorize club where you can join on there and get a lot of tutorials where i teach you how you can use affinity designer so basically in this project in this 15 exercise uh, i made this project and then i taught the people about the gradient tool in a very a nice way here for example I have the sky and then you can change the sky just by dragging all right you have this transition you can also change the colors just by clicking on here or if you want you can delete uh, the nodes and then create different kinds of results look how nice it is also you can apply the gradient here in this shape you need to select all right there you go and then you can change the transition in order to soft even more these tonalities and then you have also this result in this shape can you see uh, before it was just this color here for example and then you can enable the fill tool and drag and then apply the transition just like that click here and then you will create even more transitions another way that i really like to use the uh, gradient or shading technique it is by using the master vector brushes I have my master vector brushes where you can download on my green road the link is available here on the description below but basically by using the um, the brushes you can create a more organic gradient if you want you can enable the master vector brushes all right I'm gonna use the John candy master and then I will apply here the color I'm gonna use a white color this one and then I will add the gradient just like this this is a more organic gradient all right by using this technique that I call um, master vector brushes so right now you can also play with the patterns here I've just created these patterns in order to add this operation here as you can see now I'm gonna show you how you can save the gradient in your swatches and how this works so first of all we have the color panel all right you can see here the this panel and you have the swatches the swatches is your palette in order to do this you will go here in this icon and then click add application palette if you click in this button in this palette you're gonna create uh, shared swatches in all of your affinity projects all right this one that is unnamed and also you can rename this let's say uh, vectorize let's call vectorize and then I'm going to uh, select this color first all right this one I'm gonna press G and then I'll click in this icon here add current view to palette if you click you're gonna save your palette and just like this I'm gonna click all right you need to enable this and then hit here great and now look at this if I move to this project and then I click here in this vectorize swatches right enable here and then I can simply change my friend the swatches and apply to other projects look how nice is this and also if you want you can apply the swatches even to the strokes to do that it's very easy of course you need to enable the stroke by adding the width just like this okay let's say that you apply just like that and then you go here swatches and then you can 
just select the swatches that you want remember that if you press G you need to go here in stroke mode context and then you need to change so you can have this nice result by changing the stroke color all right that's it for now my friend i hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and if you want to see more in deep tutorials please join on the vectorized club where you can learn much more okay uh, thank you see you in the next video and bye bye take care